Good morning from uh, Fort Lauderdale today, sunny Florida at this uh, 61st Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We are uh, today here aboard uh, our the flagship of our Flybridge collection, the Azimut Yachts uh, 78 Flybridge. And as usual, we're going to give you an overview and we will focus on all the details. We like to do this video in order to have you go through the boat just like if you would be here with us or at the boat show. So we will go through hopefully a lot of little details that is not necessarily so easy to know they are there. Uh, we'll be quite fast on uh, the basics, so we'll not be wasting time telling you that this is a, a C-shaped sofa, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll go through the boat as much as we can also from uh, a little bit of a technical standpoint, information on manufacturing and uh, design. So we will start here from the cockpit, uh, very spacious, uh, very welcoming and fully equipped. So let's start from this unit right here, of course. This is your wet bar where you have a countertop if you don't need the, the sink. And then instead you have a sink and a nice countertop on the side. Of course, you have stainless steel refrigerator, drawer refrigerator, an ice maker for your cockpit. And as usual at Azimut Yachts, we use every single inch for storage, so also this little pocket right here is useful and convenient as a storage next to your wet bar in the cockpit. And then moving on this side, of course, under the sofa, I would like you to take a look at this because this is worth it. Look at the amount of storage for fenders or cleaning products. We're talking about over four feet of depth by two by two so it's an incredible amount of storage which you have under the cockpit c-shaped sofa on both sides on the other side actually there is fenders in here as we speak so it gives you also a sense of capacity these two stanchions you see right here they are of course uh, structurally supporting the flybridge that's why we can have so much overhang and we'll see that what it means when you go up to the flybridge in terms of space. But also they incorporate a privacy curtain, which have a very convenient remote control. You press a button and a curtain come down and stays in between those two poles in case it's too sunny, it's too windy, or for instance, in case of a, a stern docking, like in Europe, if, you're, if you want to enjoy your cockpit with a little bit more privacy because people are walking on the dock, you close that curtain and you also have uh, privacy. Last but surely not least, a couple of technical features in the cockpit. This is our cockpit docking station. This boat is uh, powered by Volvo Penta IPS, 1350 horses uh, each times three. And of course, uh, to maneuver, you only need your joystick in the cockpit. We also put the thruster control, even though Volvo Penta Rightfully so. Rightfully so claims that you don't need a bow thruster. And I've tried and see trial multiple units and it's true actually. But we also have the bow thruster because if you want to do a finesse maneuver, especially here in the USA, when maybe he's on hers and she's on the bow, she just needs to put the line on a pole. Of course, the motion from the amount of power you have on the main propulsion is a little a bit nervous versus on the thruster, you can really do a finesse maneuver and somebody in the bow will always feel comfortable. Now, looking at this, this is also actually a very clever little panel which uh, has all the control of your battery switches. Of course, your engines, your generator, and uh, your service battery. Right now, our, he's telling us that the only uh, switch we have closed is the service batteries. So what this means, means that you don't have to go through all the switches or all the breakers every time you leave the boat. You can leave all your DC power as you like to find it when you come on board. And when you leave, you just turn this switch one way, turn one switch and all the DC power that you have uh, breakers on for will go off automatically. You come back to the boat, you turn one switch and everything go back exactly the way you left it without going through breakers and switches. So very, very convenient. Actually, it also have this little key right here that you can uh, Take away with you is the key which uh, disable the movement of the storage, uh, stern storage compartment. So nobody can operate it and steal toys from the boat if it's unattended. I think now we're gonna close our top to give again another 
look to this beautiful material. This is synthetic marble and don't misunderstand it as a cheap solution. It's actually more expensive than marble with the difference that nothing can stain it, nothing can ruin it. You can have citrus, you can squeeze a lemon on this surface and just wipe it off while marble will be ruined for life. So this is synthetic marble with beautiful custom Corian framing both the tables you'll see the one on the flybridge as well as well as the tops let's roll inside uh, so let me open this door again our doors are very sturdy and uh, they lock in place again I always like to repeat it people might see me maybe doing a little bit of an effort moving this door there is a reason first of all the quality of the glass the framing is solid you want it strong but also they are designed to lock in place so they're spring-loaded mechanism which would block every single section of the door in place so the movement that the door can do unattended in case of a roll is minimal and then lock in place so it can hurt anyone in between so this is why doors are fairly substantial and they require some mechanical work in order to move the section is because of safety now going through here i always like to say that from this step on the beach platform coming up all the way to the helm station and galley you have no steps so we achieved that through this oversized drainage system which is you can see is a massive drainage system that go through side beam to beam of the boat so in order to have no step to the door we needed to engineer this drainage system and of course is a no-brainer again it's safety Sometimes with bad weather, you can have backflash of water coming into the cockpit. So to meet the construction standards, you need to either have a step in order to block flush of water or an oversized drainage, which of course is a no-brainer. And actually, while it's, uh, we are doing this video during the day, so you will not see it, but it's also nice, the lighting details. If you, I don't know if in the video shows up, the backlit under each of those steps and this piece of furniture, there is beautiful LED lighting, which of course at night, there is a lot of picture of the 78 Flybridge uh, online, shot at night and uh, go check them out because the lighting work that we have done on this uh, model is phenomenal. So all the steps are backlit, it's just, it's just a piece of art at night. So let's move in the salon. So this is an Achille Salvagni design, which worked with us since over a decade now. This is his latest creation in the Azimuth Yachts range, the Azimuth 78, when it was introduced a little bit less than a year ago. So this is a pure Achille Salvagni design. You saw the shot from the cockpit, so you understood that this is a, a, a lounge uh, version. We offer this model with two salon versions. One is this, which is more lounging and will go through the features. The other one is a little bit more formal where you have uh, uh, your more traditional dining table and chairs instead of that sofa. So these are oversized sofa, so very, very comfortable. Uh, you can see the ergonomics are extremely comfortable. The backrests are the right height, the seats are very wide, so they are really designed to spend uh, a good, comfortable time on board. But uh, they are pretty, of course. I think Achille Salvagni does an amazing job. These are all designed by him. These are you can't buy them in any store. But they're also clever because check this out. With a really a movement of one hand, they all lift up and provide you incredible amount of storage. You really focus on the volume that you have available there for storage. I will now close this, and of course the same applies for every section. So these open this way this is all storage and uh, you know just briefly and quickly but this does the same that does the same that does the same so I don't think you want to go through every single sofa but uh, the idea and concept is clear so they're beautiful they're comfortable they are design pieces but they're also functional they all provide an immense amount of storage talking about storage and design this is another piece designed by Achille Salvagni this uh, peanut shape uh, coffee table. And again, we will never leave that amount of volume unused. So look, check the amount of storage available you have here by just lifting this uh, tray, which fit seamlessly into this uh, coffee table. 
again, you have your storage here. This is where now we have remote controls and uh, this boat arrived like a little over a week ago from Italy, brand spanking new. So still have to go through his final commissioning, but that gives you an idea of the amount of storage you have. This is actually the remote control I was mentioning before for the privacy curtain in the cockpit. Is this thing once the, the boat is sold, you maybe want to screw it here and just press the button and you can have it, uh, you can operate that curtain. Again, going through storage, we have a little bit dedicated to audio video, but also available storage here. And uh, of course, media. Media, while you are pointing, that is your television, which of course comes up uh, electronically through this switch right here. I will not go through the entire process of up and down, I'll just give you an idea. And uh, of course, the concept is that you will see the ugly appliance of the television only when it's on and when you want to watch it. Other than that, it seamlessly uh, disappear and you have your unobstructed view at uh, basically 270 degrees around. This other switch, while we are here, operate this uh, table so this is a uh, as i said before this is our lounging uh, version which has this beautiful leather wrap uh, italian leather sofa and a table which in the lower position is really a nice conversation piece so you can have uh, friends and family in a more relaxed lounging you know configuration you can even you know it's also comfortable to watch a movie in uh, more people without staying too close to each other as you can see my my ergonomics are i can stay three hours here watching a movie and i'm perfectly fine my cup of tea on the side so it's very comfortable and then when you want to dine inside because don't forget you have a dining area in the cockpit a dining area on the flybridge and an almost dining area in the bow but if you want to dine inside through this switch you just lift the table and uh, again, I will not go through, uh, waste the uh, precious uh, seconds to go through the entire process. You got it. So lift the table, remove this decoration piece. You pull out two per side, open your leaves, and uh, you have a pin actually down here. You have a pin where you can slide and lock the table in a more dining position. So picture that this, once this is all up, of course, it clears the sofa. You open this leaf as well, and now you have a table where you can eat eight people. You bring the chairs from the cockpit in, two chairs here, two chairs there, two and two, and you can have inside dining for eight. And then in two seconds, you just close your table, retract your legs, lower it again, we'll not go through it now, and you're done. While you're here, convenient drawers, storage, throughout every single available space throughout the boat. And actually on the technical side, I always like to show, for instance, we always talk about air conditioning, which is extremely important because it's one of the most sophisticated systems on board, is the air we breathe when we are on board, is the comfort we have. So the air conditioning is very important and we provide super easy maintenance access. So, for instance, this fan coil of this area, you just remove this piece of wood and you access your filter, which is right here. And you take it off with a gesture of one end. Take it off, clean it. I always recommend clean your air conditioning filter, clean your air conditioning strainers, and then you put back this panel and off, off you go. So all air conditioning, we'll take a look at a few. All the air conditioning systems are extremely easy to access with the purpose of uh, have you maintain them uh, easily. A little bit of design. These are actually pieces designed by Achille Salvagni for the Azimut 78 Flybridge. So again, these are not pieces that you can buy in uh, the store off the shelf. They are designed by Achille for the 78. Accent on the bulkhead. Typically, these are bulkheads which uh, for the majority of the other products in the industry are left uh, blank and uh, instead here we make the bucket as a piece of art with a combination of oak and this trim uh, aluminum panel which you know gives this uh, wave effect and if you look at from here this the bucket is actually not flat 
I don't know if it comes out on the video, but it's slightly curved to give it the effect of a, a sort of a wave, if you, if you wish. Now let's move to more technical spaces. This uh, is the area where, of course, we have a helm station, galley, crew quarters. So by closing this door, this 78 becomes really mega yacht concept where crew and owners don't interfere uh, with each other. So now by, by closing that door, this area is completely separated. So if the crew needs to go outside, this is uh, the door that uh, they will use. Again, we always use the, the same mechanism. So automatic dogs come down, the door watertight, and then all you need to do to open is just push and pull. And then when you pull it back in, you hear the system the dogs are coming in to guarantee water tightness. So as I was saying, these are two separated areas now. This is the access of the, to the outside for the crew without interfering with the owners. And this is your fantastic helm station. Let's go through the helm and then we go to the galley and crew quarter. This, uh, as I mentioned before, 78 flybridge uh, is powered by three triple 1350 IPS Volvo Penta. In Volvo Penta configurations, our electronics package is uh, Garmin because they do work together. They have a joint venture, if you wish. So Volvo Penta proprietary information systems for alarms and pop-ups and messages from the engines to the monitoring system goes only through Garmin. The advantage is that, as you can see, you can build a fantastically flush, simple and clean helm and you don't need to combine your multifunction display with your engine's display and have, of course, a little bit more of a cluster of uh, components in your helm. And typically, they look different. The black is not really the same black. The gray of the frame is not really the same gray. One has a trim, the other one doesn't, so they don't look that great. The combination of Volvo Penta and Garmin made it easy for us as manufacturer and made it easy also for the customer because, again, we buy a full package which really goes from the propellers to all the controls to all the electronics from one supplier which is Volvo Penta combined with Garmin so also from a warranty and serviceability on the market it's easier is one number to call or anyway there is connection between uh, the two companies they're not complete strangers uh, going through the system this is uh, I always set it up the way I probably would like to have it when I navigate so I want my charts in the middle always my fish finder on the side I want to know what is under my props and uh, my monitoring system uh, on the side and probably the easiest to access and check if I'm going around and doing other things I want to make sure that this is uh, the most accessible I, I wouldn't want this here right so it's, it's much more convenient to have it here and uh, we can go through this uh, real quick and uh, this is the uh, area where you control all the systems of the boat that you want to control. For instance, this is the page for your bilges. You, all, you always want to have uh, your bilges under control. You can control the pumps, you can check the alarms if they go off. And then you have your AC power. So for instance, right now it's telling us that we are connected to shore one and shore two. We have two shore power 50 amps cable connected to shore right now. It shows that they are feeding the boat. This has 214 volt with a, a amperage draw of 16 amps, 210 volts, 17 amps. Don't check, don't pay too much attention on the voltage. We are at the bow show, voltage is very weak. Imagine the amount of boats which are connected to the network right now. So you, it, that's why it's not that clean. You don't have that good voltage here. It's just because this weak is, is very demanding from a power standpoint. You can start and stop your generators from here. You don't have to go down to the engine room or anywhere else. And you can put them online once they're started. You put it online. You see this bar is open right now. This little relay symbol or circuit symbol is open because your generator are not online and this is closed because your shore power are online. When you will be on generator, that will be open and white and this will be closed and green. Same for DC. Right now, our engine battery switches, we, I don't know if you notice when we look at the switch in the cockpit, they were off. The only one lit uh, was the service batteries, which also opened uh, the, closed the switch of the bow thruster batteries. So you don't see the other voltages because all the switches are off. 
uh, closed or open rather in case of a switch. Uh, but if they would be closed, you will see amperes draw and uh, voltage of all your DC systems. So these are all your DC batteries on board that you can control in one page. Then you have a page for navigation. You can control, uh, you know, uh, windshield wipers. Of course, the structures of the engine room gives you information of your engine room temperature. Very important. The temperature on board uh, the boat. I believe there is something off here. Hopefully it's not 12.2 Fahrenheit and uh, external temporal is definitely 91 <laughs> and then information of your angle and uh, uh, excuse me uh, trim and roll you can control your lights from here so uh, searchlight control on off and move the searchlight we'll take a look at it later when we go in the bow is a beautiful searchlight and uh, your flood lights navigation lights so this is your lights page very important this is your tanks you always want to know how much fuel how much black water gray water and fresh water you have on board and you can control also the pumps from here last uh, but surely not least is the air conditioning very convenient you can set the entire boat on the same temperature and fan speed from here or by heating every area you can control the dedicated uh, cabin it tells you here starboard gas cabin 64.3 fahrenheit that sounds about right and you set the temperature, fan speed, and so on and so forth. So you, again, you can press one button, synchronize all zones, you see this? And all the air conditioning that both the boat goes uh, at the same settings, or you can control each one independently. You have your alarm page, which have your alarm histories and what alarms are active. You control your chain counter, so here you can uh, lift and uh, drop your chain and uh, read uh, uh, how much uh, uh, chain you have in the water and also it gives an information on your heading from this page and this is your setting page which you don't want to mess with we'll, we'll do all of that for you uh, but in case you want to change settings unit of measures and so on and so forth this is the settings page so again I think we went to, through the helm maybe take a look at this because this is a, I, I am very proud of this boat also backstage so check the take a look at the quality of executions of the systems uh, you can really eat there. You can pour food and eat from there. How clean and perfectly made uh, that area is, and the same, and the same goes from on this other side right here. This is also an immense amount of storage there. So imagine, Captain, you can put your chart, your flares, your horn, uh, emergency horn, your emergency VHF. You can keep a little emergency kit in that storage compartment uh, right there. I think we skip talking about storage on this side we have uh, something very cool and important that we, we skip my bad look at this all your china perfectly stored every single piece as a neoprene I don't know if you see my finger going through as a neoprene base so you don't have any rattling any movement this is a soft every single piece obviously espresso cup azimut yacht custom made Plates, teacups, and other plates and bowls. All conveniently located in one area. We'll see the silver well later while we are here. Storage, electrical panel. You have main electrical panel in the engine room. We'll go through that later, as you know. But this is your DC, AC electrical panel conveniently located these are all the breakers that you need remember what we said before this is your dc panel but when you switch off that battery switch in the cockpit is like a switching off all the breakers of that panel with one switch very very convenient and uh, last uh, storage here and actually this is access to again a fan coil so these uh, panels don't worry about that noise that you heard they are holding place with a strong 3m uh, double side velcro so they don't you don't want them to rattle so it's hard to take them off but they are designed like that and uh, and that's your fun coil for the helm station again you take off this panel as well and you have super easy access to the fun coil to clean your field and then you put it in place you press it don't worry <coughs> actually look at this detail i didn't even notice this so we even put a net, you want to put the manual of the fun coil or some literature. 
So, um, little breakfast nook in case the owner want to come here and uh, have a coffee in the morning or, uh, you know, a little bit of a crew mess, if you wish, for the crew to relax. Again, every single inch of the boat is storage. So you remove that sofa with one piece and Velcro and underneath you have a very good a sizable amount of storage uh, that uh, is uh, always needed and never enough. And uh, of course, the table actually um, move and slide on the side so you can have easy access on and off and uh, a comfortable position where you can have your elbow and chit chat with the captain if it's a long uh, watch uh, you know spend some time here and move the table uh, you know in every position you want to make it easy to get out so let's go through the galley uh, and some uh, of the interesting features uh, full-size residential refrigerator and freezer uh, take a look at just uh, at the capacity uh, and of course, uh, uh, you know that this is a refrigerator, but this gives you an idea of the size and volume of the refrigerator, ice and water distribution, and uh, safety locking mechanism in place. Once you put it here in bad weather, the door can't open with the, uh, you know, so this is something that we provide, very clever. Storage in every single corner available. Of course, dedicated space for your silverware, so conveniently located here. And of course, custom made, each piece engraved for Azimut Yachts, little details. Now, Miele, Miele appliances, best in the market. Of course, you have your wine cooler, you have your dishwasher, eight pieces the dishwasher right here, Miele as well, wine cooler. And this is where really our design department and style department a kind of creativity come into place because of course you have this great amount of countertop which will be handy for stuff that you not necessarily need and use when you are preparing because you don't want to get off the stairs to get here so they decided to provide a sort of an l shape additional countertop so when the chef is here preparing uh, you know he has a very convenient working area and then when he's done you just put this back it doesn't interfere and you go down deep very nice deep storage compartment here next to the stove double the double bottom and uh, again uh, this is another access take a look in there another super easy access to a fan coil to clean your filter and then you put this uh, uh, bottom panel back in place you have done everything with one end so there's really no excuses to keep your air conditioning clean storage going down the stairs so we are now approaching the crew quarters as we said the 78 offer a very comfortable technical space because you have a ham station galley crew quarters all in one area separated by a sliding door from the owner side of the boat but also accessible from the outside going to the edge room the bow the flybridge to that side door right there going down the stairs here just uh, again quick technical look and of quality system these are our once you will come down i'll leave uh, i'll leave this here and uh, these are the three ups which feed the audio video system just would like you to take a look at it first you know ups's are uh, sometimes they're tricky they have a lot of protection they're designed to protect the sophisticated and expensive pieces of equipment so they do uh, go in a protection mode not often but they do and so you want to make sure that you have easy access to UPSs. you don't want to you want to you need to hide them they're not nice pieces of equipment that you want to expose but you don't want to hide them too much and this is actually uh, a very easy you have your breaker that power them here and the three units here and uh, I'll actually leave this one here. And once again, super easy access to your air condition. And you put your panel back in place with your double side uh, Velcro in place, done. So let's approach the crew quarters. And uh, as you can see here, they have uh, a door, which uh, of course can separate the area for the night. And uh, here is where you approach 
Uh, it basically dedicated, the entire bow is dedicated to the crew quarter. A lot of storage, you know, hanging lockers here and drawers on the bottom. Then we'll see there is other storage there. They have their own safe in this locker right here. Here you have drawers under each of uh, these uh, hanging lockers. And here you have uh, two bed here with their own dedicated audio video system. Storage under this bed, storage under this panel. Uh, which lift up uh, super easy by just uh, lifting this and you access your storage and uh, natural light, natural ventilation and uh, of course the possibility to uh, separate uh, the cabin through this uh, pocket door. So this becomes cabin number one and this will be cabin number two. I apologize for the amount of uh, stuff which is here, which on the other hand though is fairly good because it gives you an idea of the volume of this area. And uh, again, this boat just arrived uh, from Italy, so it's not been uh, fully commissioned yet. That's why all the chairs, you see, these are the cockpit chairs, everything is still here, vacuum cleaner hose. But this has their own audio video system, storage, nice to store a shelf, beautiful natural light, and portal for natural ventilation. And this is the crew bathroom, which uh, I would like you to shoot because it's very, it's very ergonomically comfortable. You have uh, everything you need. And I'll show in the shower, which is always uh, important, especially when you work on board. And uh, is extremely generous, so separated shower. And uh, I move uh, very comfortably, if uh, also with the, with the bench, you know, uh, for the stew. If you want to shave your legs and uh, be in comfort, you put your telephone shower here and you really have a rain shower from the roof with a fairly large amount of comfortable movement. And uh, let's go down to the lower deck. So again, we go this way, very comfortable passages, see no steps all the way to the cockpit. And now we're approaching the lower deck. Lower deck where, as usual, I like to show beautiful, but also practical handrails. So my hand goes here, my other hand goes on the left, my right hand finds immediately another handrail on the right. I'm now approaching the lower deck and I have a handrail on the right. So very safe trip to the lower deck in case of weather. And uh, here we're gonna start right from the master. 78 Flybridge master cabin is the aftmost cabin uh, on board. Of course, because we wanna take advantage of the widest beam. So it's a full beam master, immense natural light as you can see with natural ventilation on both sides and uh, we'll go through the details as well uh, especially storage and uh, features and a little bit of design because this is where Achille Salvagni express himself uh, the most so for instance if you look at these and you imagine it in the Bahamas or in Mexico in a beautiful um, uh, seas of Cortez with beautiful underwater light on and fish so this is really, you see the details, this is a, a frame. It is purposely made as a frame. Instead of being 90 degrees, it would have been much simple. So you have this round, uh, steam curved, 10% uh, oak, folding into 100% gloss mahogany frame because this is your piece of art, if you think about it. Between the design pieces of Aquila Salvani, the design light, look at this beautiful leather wrap, custom made, custom shaped box where you can have a couple of books and a magazine, beautiful cushion. Here, this is a, both a beautiful and a practical. So beautiful, deep, long drawer chest. So while we are here on the port side, walk-in closet with a full size mirror and a hanging bar, hanging bar, drawers throughout and you're safe. So walk-in closet on your port side and uh, bed, full-size bed. And uh, of course you have uh, uh, drawers which are easy to access without the need to lift the mattress, but also, uh, you know, as all our beds, you know, when you lift the mattress with the movement, which is helped by those hydraulic rams, you have an incredible amount of storage. So you, will, you can see the body 
of the four drawers, which are easy to access without lifting the mattress, and then all those one, two, three, four, five uh, different storage compartment areas are instead under the bed for sheets and towels for the cabin, but also luggage, suitcases, and extra clothing, uh, maybe rain gear, whatever. You have a lot of storage available. This is, uh, of course, your television. So if you have this beautiful, massive uh, mirror in your master cabin with this uh, brass, polished brass frame throughout, and uh, the television is uh, behind this section of the mirror, uh, this and that, of, of course, are fixed. And behind here, you have a television that you see only when it's on. And when it's off, you don't see the ugly appliance. And instead, you see this beautiful piece of art mirror. Going on this side, and while we are here, take a look at, these, uh, at the handles, because they are not your everyday handles. You see, they, they have this curved shape, which follow the curves of the design. So this is where you have uh, countless hours spent by uh, people with talent to select and combine materials, design and components, of course, will be much easier. Take a look at the thickness of this door. Take a look at the quality of the hardware, the quality of installation, how flush the screws are. I mean, I'm, I'm probably a little bit off when it comes to these things, maybe too much, but I just, this is where I would like people to appreciate the quality and the focus on details. I mean, this is just a door and to me, it's, a piece of art look how thick it is and all sealed with gaskets so once it's closed these are medically closed it doesn't rattle it doesn't make noise in navigation isolate from sound so you can talk 15 minutes about the door storage here host some of your audio video components uh, and uh, this uh, cabin has a surround sound so these are the perfectly nice and flush integrated speakers you have uh, four of them and uh, uh, you have your subwoofer there and uh, your uh, receiver here, direct TV and available storage. Going in more on the starboard side, beautiful. Look at this vanity. But of course, the storage, God forbid, we waste any inch. So, and look at this, really beautiful brass trim painted and uh, this uh, velvet material. This is all really Attila Salvani to the best of his expression and very comfortable uh, vanity uh, you have your mirror you have three drawer uh, available for makeup and vanity accessories and uh, of course you have AC power and two USB so you can have your phone charging your iPad charging and your hair blower uh, all in this area uh, here now you would be you know in uh, in Puerto Vallarta, uh, in Mexico, or in Cancun at the beautiful turquoise water. Let's go to the head. Very spacious here and uh, his and hers. Uh, incredible amount of storage. Again, always very cleverly done. So as you can see, cut through for the discharge of the sink and everything else use for storage, both on the top and the bottom of the cabinetry. Of course, times two, his and hers. And uh, of course, you have uh, natural light and natural ventilation through these beautiful portals. And uh, when you want it, otherwise you close it against uh, uh, there with that mirror. Uh, again, your synthetic marble uh, countertop, super resisting. So they have uh, a, a feel. You see, they really do an amazing job. This really looks and feel like a stone. But the good part of it is that uh, nothing can hurt it. And these beautiful, cute little shelves. Uh, for storage as well, electrical sockets, shower. Let's, uh, this is an easy shower to, to show because it's massive. Uh, but, you know, still, I want to give an idea. Rain shower, your phone, and uh, your phone outlet. And this is really a shower, I would say, for two. Uh, I, I, you can see I'm six feet, 165, 170 pounds, and look how I easily I move uh, into the shower. Very important here, technical details. This is a, a light which advise you that the gray water tank uh, is approaching his top level. So that is a message which tells you you should stop, stop showering uh, maybe quickly and uh, start uh, your gray water pump unless you set it in automatic and then you will have no problem because it will start automatically. You might wonder what these two uh, hatches are and I'm happy to show them to you. 
technical hatches of course and you want to have access to this component tray easy so I like to show you the, the quality level the execution level of a, of a technical system so this is your water dis distribution manifold and obviously you can tell because everything is perfectly labeled in English of course this is your cold water this is your hot water and uh, you can adjust the flow uh, to each of the area and or isolate if you need to work on it and you want to close the line you can this right here another technical hatch again they're not the prettiest of course the floor would be prettier without uh, these hatches this is not a house there is a lot of system under the floor and therefore you need these hatches and believe me you want them this is your gray water tank and look again at first of all the quality of execution of the system every single hose double clamp and this is our low pressure hose so technically you don't really need two clamps on these hoses but nevertheless all double clamps we don't want any leak and uh, look at the quality of this inspection plate uh, you know and uh, don't be uh, I mean of course with the drill you take it off in two minutes you wouldn't do it by hand but with the drill and then this is a plate which allow you to access the tank for clean uh, cleaning and maintenance and accesses accessing also the sender so this is uh, again I always like to show the B side because when these things don't work no matter how pretty this is it's not gonna be an happy day so you want to be able to have easy access now let's go to the other quarters and uh, let's start uh, from uh, uh, you know the VIP cabin which is uh, actually my favorite to be honest with you on the 78 because has a, a lot of uh, very interesting features so you enter and you immediately find a lot of space this is uh, a very large VIP cabin. The bed is uh, still uh, low, so in a residential kind of environment, you don't need to have that kind of, uh, because the, he's in a position where, remember, the crew quarters are this way. So the boat here is still very wide and allow us to, to keep the height at the proper comfortable level. You don't, have to, you don't need to have those very tall uh, beds that you typically have in, a, in the V area of the bow. And of course, you have uh, an immense amount of storage under this bed, uh, which is your four drawers accessible also while you're here, accessible also from the side without the need to lift the bed. And then you have the center storage, your subwoofer for your dedicated audio video. And uh, of course, you have uh, other storage here. This is your, your hanging locker with automatic lighting and two drawers. You have storage here on both sides. Again, these uh, panels, guess what they are for? <laughs> so easy access to guess what? The filter of your fine coil. And uh, so storage and fine coil access on this side. On that side is uh, storage only, or rather dedicated to full storage. On this side, a little bit of an audio video component there. And then, of course, you have drawers on your nightstands. And look also how big and large and comfortable and the details of this, this nightstand. You have the 100% gloss mahogany, a stainless steel frame, leather wrap uh, insert on the nightstands for the phone or your Kindle. Of course, your socket, your light control on the side. These are beautiful light designed by Achille Salvagni for the 78, again, um, with this trim. He uses this uh, bowl-shaped light on other models, so, but the 78 featured them with this black metal bases. They are unique. And now, while you're there, if you want to look at this, this is a really another piece of art, which is this mirror. Of course, the television is here, is integrated. But look at this suspended floating box for storage and look at the quality of execution of the integration of this sound bar. So all together becomes really a piece of art because you see the round shape, the suspended box, uh, the integration with the ceiling, with this geometry. So it really uh, becomes a piece of art. And uh, we'll, on the way out, we'll show there is another very interesting storage with a couple of interesting details. Head, again, very, very spacious comfortable yes is one sink but wide and uh, convenient and uh, 
natural light and natural ventilation through this uh, comfortable uh, portal so to operate and you want to have natural light natural air you can open your portal and close your dogs always remember to close the dogs you don't want that to be open even though the crew will come and check it before they take off uh, storage everywhere as i say always cleverly done so tons of storage just a little recess for your discharge and of course you have a big big drawer here with toilet paper roll holder perfectly uh, perfect position once again another technical access to the build why not let's show it so that gives you this is actually a very good technical storage look at the amount of build space you have here imagine you know uh, cases of a plastic bottle of water uh, cases of uh, sodas all that heavy uh, stuff that crew needs to have on board roll of papers i mean you name it this is a, this is an infinite amount of storage which is very very convenient for obviously more technical storage in this case take a look at the size of the shower which is always worth it rain shower combination of thick and lacquered very easy uh, to access and uh, clean and maintain drainage of the shower as you can see for the crew to access the drain two pieces of wood they remove and uh, you can clean that drain and put them back in position uh, where they belong and, uh, and uh, very comfortable shower as you can see I can move freely I don't interfere with anything I don't need anything so tons of space in these uh, showers let's get out of the VIP and I would like you to focus of course on these incredible amount of storage on the way out there is three drawers an hanging bar a mirror and uh, a lot of, another piece of storage here but also when you close it take a look at that handle because it is just another piece of art looks like a Joe Ponti sculpture from from Italy uh, designed by again by Achille Salvani for the 78 so let's uh, you might wonder what is this door they had so this is the bathroom which when you have a guest on board you're having a dinner you have people which not necessarily sleep on the boat they need to go to the bathroom this is the door which lead to the port side head which is shared between the port side double guest cabin and uh, the rest of the boat as a day head if we go this way you have the starboard side vip which uh, has again a full-size bed very comfortable uh, pathways to and from the bed you see I don't have to uh, I'm not really limited in any movement and uh, the movement is comfortable you have a storage in both uh, nice stands here you can see you have drawers pull out drawers a little pocket here for your phone and uh, comfortable bed in this bed is actually incredible the amount of storage you're gonna take a big look a nice look from here because there is basically seven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven compartments under one bed one two three four five are openable drawers so you don't need to actually lift the top of the bed to access one two three four five are drawers and the rest are all storage compartments and then access uh, to technical systems and the build from where you see those uh, hatches so 11 storage compartments under one bed five of which accessible of course without the need to move the bed so this would be another one you see the drawers super easy accessible if you want to so the everyday stuff would be more there and uh, um, your suitcases or stuff that you necessarily need every day even though I mean look it's look how easy it is to lift the bed I mean it's not that big of an operation one hand and it's really, really super light and assisted. So it's not that big of a deal. Mirror, TV behind the mirror, but look at the quality of execution and design. Two areas right here, which are worth it showing because they are immense. You see, this is an, again, remember this is the 11 storage compartments bed, and these are the amount of storage in the cabin. So everywhere you look from the hanging locker and drawers 
over the bed, under the bed. So this cabin has an incredible amount of storage. The head, where again, we're gonna show the showers. The cabins are getting smaller. We started from the master, we went into the VIP. Now we are in the starboard guest. So it's more important to show the size of the showers. And uh, again, I can completely move with no interference. Very, very comfortable, very ergonomic. Rain shower, telephone showers, very easy access to your drain. And again, let's take a look at here, black water pump. So look how easy is the access, how much space you have around it. You really disconnect two hoses, take the pump out, put the new pump in, reconnect the hoses, done. You don't have to take anything apart. You just remove this hatch and uh, you have super easy access to your black water pump and that's your black water discharge valves. Of course, connected to the bonding system. That's very important. You see the yellow green wire, which goes to the through hole right there. That shows again, quality of uh, systems and execution. Look at the condition of this area. Look at the lab labeling there. This tells you black water pump, black water, but obviously is a pump. Uh, flow, indication of flow. So the, the, the flow is going from there to there and then goes around and goes outboard if that's the way you want it. And then down there you have a label which again tells you that that's the black water discharge with the check valve right there. So the flow can only go one way. You can add backup. So this gives you a little bit of a, a view of the technical side. And uh, here we have uh, again access to the build. Shoot it if you want just to have a, a view of how clean it is and how detailed it is. There is no systems there, it's just another access to the village. Again, it can be used for storage of light uh, stuff. So storage, again, look at the amount of storage that you have available under the sink in this Starboard VIP. Natural ventilation, natural light, storage on the second level, of course, and uh, countertop, we talked about it before. So let's go to the last cabin. Again, a four cabin, four head layout on this Azimo 78 flybridge. And this is the cabin which I mentioned before, share the head with the day head. So that door that you just saw is in this head. And this is the head of the port side guest, double bed. But once again, I have, first of all, I have a comfortable bench. And uh, again, typically used more for shaving, uh, for people who ride bicycles, maybe like me or girls, and uh, uh, you know, uh, rain showers, telephone shower, and the uh, same uh, you have the same advice alarm in every shower, which tells you that the gray water tank is getting full. That doesn't mean that you need to jump out of the shower or you're gonna be left in soap. It's just an advice, just you don't have to ignore it for three showers, four showers in a row because then you will be in trouble. Uh, storage under the sink. And that again, only if your gray water pump is not set in automatic. Otherwise, uh, you, that light will never come on. Access to your bilge here and systems. This is your actually hot water distribution. Uh, makes the hot water always available immediately to, this, uh, to the each faucet instead of waiting for it. And that's your gray water discharge outlet and gray water system hosing. Again, your bonding system, you see the same quality, of course, throughout every system. These are the Tecma toilet with the bidet feature. So this, this valve right here is now making water run through the bowl and has a, is a bidet feature. Port guest, this again is your central vacuum system. We try to put as less of these as possible so they are positioned in the strategic place where the length of the hose can cover the most area. So this will cover the lower deck and the hose from here can go forward and aft. And then you have, of course, your uh, drawers on uh, each side of the, the bed coming out and you have storage under the beds again, as well as fine coil access. And of course, this is a little storage as well here and I think well, this is kind of a uh, called the other cabins and what we talked about in terms of material there is an hanging locker here if you want to open it and shoot it on the way out and uh, otherwise I think we are done let me help you here so you have a hanging locker here 
and uh, through drawers coming out from underneath. Yet another drawer. And they're fairly actually deep and wide and uh, long. So they're very, a lot of capacity for storage. We are approaching the bow. Well, we are on the exterior. This uh, is uh, the right time to talk about the exterior designer, which is Alberto Mancini. So we discuss about the interior so far, designed by Achille Salvagni. And this is uh, the exterior designed by Alberto Mancini, a very talented, young Italian designer. And uh, this is uh, uh, one of his uh, pieces of art that he made for us. He did the S10, he did the new 53, and of course he did this 58. Uh, on the practical side, sideboarding gates, very conveniently located and important for the Americas. These are your insert where you put your sideboarding ladder, which we have actually right now on on the other side. And uh, this is your sideboarding gate where you come on board. And of course it locks in place with a safety mechanism under here. Uh, side cleats, this also gives you an idea from uh, the, the more back you go, the more you will have an idea of the amount of natural light that you have from the outside coming in through this uh, almost uh, frameless, there is just junction, uh, a couple of junction areas, frameless uh, windows on the side. Very wide sidewalking. Look at this. I mean, you can, again, six feet, 165, 170 pounds, and I'm walking without any interference. Nice and safe handrail to grab. Then I go to my handrail here, and here we are really in the, in what is not, is, this is not really a bow, uh, sunbathing area this is a full lounging area now you have uh, three sofas two love seats and a big C shape and look at the ergonomics as usual we, we focus on the practical side you can see that the my entire leg the part of my leg is uh, properly set on uh, on the sofa I have a lot of back support you know my the backrests are properly located. I can really spend hours here with family and friends, having a good time, enjoying the breeze at night, chit-chatting. I mean, this is the place where you really can spend a lot of time. And of course, the same apply to the other side, to the two love seats. And when you need, and you have a little bit uh, more drinks and food, you can open this table. Again, the same material throughout the entire boat as far as tables, so Corian and the synthetic marble. And uh, uh, you know, and when you don't need it anymore because you don't want interference in the passage, you just uh, close it. We always like to talk about practical things, so check this out. This is a, a storage which is dedicated to the carbon fiber poles and awning, which are for the bow area. And I want to show you the level of quality and details at which is done. So. One thing on board is always nice to have uh, features and things that you put up and down, but also you need places where you can put them away safely when you don't use them. And this is perfectly done. It looks like almost a fishing rod holders, if you wish. Your two carbon fiber uh, poles goes in there and uh, uh, your awning goes in there and they are, you know, it locks in place and this is where everything is designed to go. Uh, here we Back in the days, I remember when I came here to the U.S. in 2003, we were always uh, uh, complained about the lack of cup holders. And now we took that uh, extremely seriously because check this out. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve cup holders and one bottle holders in uh, basically, what is this, uh, seven, eight square meters of space. So that gives you an idea about how much we have learned the market, how much we listen to the customer base, and uh, uh, you know, and uh, how much we build the product properly for the market. Uh, seal storage on the side here as well, and uh, you have actually an immense amount of storage under this hatch right here, if you look at it, and this is where you have uh, another area where you can store uh, a lot of cleaning products, uh, drinks, uh, heavy equipment, so you can, you name it. And of course, that will be your sunbathing area. Extremely comfortable. You can lay either vertically or transversely. 
and uh, again this is your lounging bow area everything is all in place by 3m product velcro and mechanical fit for the cushions and uh, put them back in a heartbeat these are the receiver for your carbon fiber poles one is here one is on the opposite side and then the other ones are here where you remove this base right here and this uh, first of all check the quality and uh, I, I wish you can feel the weight of this piece of custom polished stainless steel. This is where the base of a carbon fiber pole goes uh, into place. And then when you don't use it, it locks in place. So it's nice, beautiful and flush. Uh, of course, all our stainless steel is custom made, custom welded, custom polished. I always repeat it, done per each on number. And uh, of course you have your windlass here and i think we are ready to go and approach our incredible flybridge comfortable stairs very nice and wide handrail solid all the way up i leave my handrail here i grab another one here and i'm safely approaching the flybridge which is yet another incredible area of this azimo 78 this is the hatch Hold in place with rams and the purpose of this hatch is when you have bad weather you close it you don't have rain coming down the cockpit so you can still enjoy some of the outdoor and uh, without being uh, uh, affected by the rain aft area of the flybridge uh, we offer multiple different configurations. this is what is important to know in this case as you can see of course you have uh, two love seats with coffee table but you can have lawn chairs you can have an l shape you can have actually a grill barbecue area on the starboard side here behind the stairs so it's a very versatile area that can be fit and equipped by the owner as he pleases if you look here we have uh, this beautiful teak and stainless steel custom made stools which of course they are connected to the deck but they swivel and turns and adjust very comfortable very wide seating with the step so you can see again the ergonomic are very wide, very comfortable, very, you know, lounging. And uh, this is really is, uh, at all the effect, uh, a, full, uh, a full bar for entertainment. Uh, again, you imagine you have uh, three, four people there, a couple of people here. The owner, if he likes, or a crew member on this side of the bar, where, of course, you have a refrigerator and uh, ice maker right here under the counter stainless steel drawer refrigerator ice maker and uh, storage on both sides of uh, this is a uh, uh, comfortable convenient for you know your grilling of course this is your barbecue your standard barbecue this is comfortable for your grilling sauces and powders and seasonings and uh, you close these and you have actually storage here with your double trash um, compartment recycle and uh, standard trash as I said this is your standard grill and uh, when you close gives this beautiful countertop for additional grilling features of course you can add uh, a full grill barbecue cabinet over there of course here you have your sink again very spacious and generous uh, storage here right now we have our covers here conveniently comfortable comfortably located and the countertop same material throughout we saw it in the bow in the cockpit on those tables and here so you have this synthetic marble with Korean framing and uh, this is actually a pretty cool feature because of course uh, you have your TV which comes out from this top electrically and once is up obviously uh, I'll show you this one because this uh, is a pretty neat uh, mechanism and very cleverly done so you can leave it like this if you want to watch the game or TV from the bar or from that area or uh, you can actually have it swivel and rotate with the touch of a button if you want to instead enjoy TV and a game or whatever when you're comfortably sitting in this uh, dining table. Dining uh, for up to eight people up here on the flybridge as well, the two chairs on that side up to three chairs actually on that side one one and one two three and as usual and as i always point out 
you have a ton of storage under this uh, sofa area. This is a dry storage, so that's why you have this dry compartment with the sealed with a gasket. So you're sure that the content in here is always dry. You see, you have this gasket here and these dogs. So this is a watertight storage and uh, you don't have to worry about stuff in there getting wet. And uh, approaching the helm, of course, you have extra, very wide in general storage under this sunbathing area. This will be perfect for your cover and uh, easy to open. You don't have to remove the cushions. They come up with it and then you put it down and everything falls back in place. You just make sure the Velcro engage again and you're done. Cap holders on the side of this beautiful sunbathing area. And this is an area which is actually A, very comfortable and B, very protected from the wind. So imagine that somebody, your friends are driving the boat and you want to sunbathe. This is very comfortable and is, uh, this windshield breaks the wind and bring it up. So it's a very protected area that you, where you can spend some comfortable time. This unit is equipped with a pilot seat, of course, this is standard, and optional co-pilot seat. And uh, you can see how cushiony and welcoming these seats are for so long-term navigation on the 78. And uh, the ergonomics are perfect. The pilot seat, they are adjustable, so you can go back and forth as you please. And this helm basically provides you with all the controls uh, of the lower helm, just with two display instead of one. Uh, but again, the display can be split, so they can become four, and you can have all your information, starting, of course, uh, from your, for instance, from your engine, engine's information. You might want to have your RPMs, your temperature, your oil pressures, and values on that one, and your chart plotter on this one. You can split them. You can have engines and uh, fish finder on one, and chart plotter and monitoring system on the other. You have, of course, your maneuvering joystick perfectly located here. So when you maneuver, typically you will stay like this. You want to check your bow and your stern and your side. And with one end, you will be able to have the boat, of course, move and enter or, or exit your mooring station very, very easily. In addition to the cockpit maneuvering station that we have seen uh, before. Thruster controls, I will not go through it. Comfortable and convenient uh, objects you know, what is it, pocket, in Italian is a svuota tasca, you know, it is where uh, things that you, uh, when you get home, you have a change and your phone and your money and you empty your pockets. So it's very convenient to have these two areas where you can have, of course, like drinks, your phone, your keys, whatever you want, you have it here in, uh, with the contained lips, so it's not moving nor going anywhere. Last but not least, we have a sunroof, which is actually in this, uh, uh, 78 is a glass sunroof, openable, is uh, made by Webasto, so a German, German brand, very reliable, and, uh, and it opens for airflow, and uh, you know, if you want to enjoy a star glaze night, uh, you know, without interference, you can open that section of the roof, and uh, uh, you have a clear view. Versus the back side of the hardtop is glass, but it doesn't, it doesn't open, it doesn't move. While you're here, of course, we have the Garmin camera system. Uh, you have a camera here on the flybridge, camera in the cockpit, a camera in the engine room, which uh, from the old the multifunction displays. You can also have a page where you have your cameras, which is very important, especially the engine room one. While we are here, safety gates, so solid, check the diameter of this uh, stainless steel gate, and they lock in place, so you just lift them up, give them the turn they need and once they reach final destination they lock down in place and you can see this is a safety gate so nobody can risk to go the wrong way then you want to move it you actually lift it and it locks again in the second position spring loaded and with the press of this button you access this incredible storage compartment and uh, as you can see uh, it's not a garage for a tender, uh, but you can put sea bobs, uh, uh, fishing gear, diving gear, uh, diving tanks. So it's a very, very spacious storage unit on the transom for all your water toys, uh, water sports, and so on and so forth. Of course, here we are standing on an hydraulic uh, swim platform designed to host the 395 
Williams tender and uh, we, or a three-seater jet ski if you prefer. Uh, of course, this goes up and down and makes uh, launching the tender or the jet ski just a piece of cake. You just undo the dogs, uh, tight the, the line on the cleat, make it go down, the tender float and off it goes uh, without any effort. Let's go now to the engine room. Oh, of course, you have two axes. This is the uh, most convenient and comfortable one. Uh, but in case of bad weather, you don't, you don't want to enter the engine room from here. So you have another access actually in the cockpit. You have a ladder, which a hatch which opens and a ladder which takes you down to the engine room. Today we are at the dock, so let's take advantage of this comfortable access. So always, you always want to face ladders, never go on a ladder forward facing, but always back facing. And uh, here we come into the heart of this uh, Adimo 78 flybridge. As I mentioned before when we were talking about the propulsion system, triple IPS 1350, so a ton of power which uh, if we would have designed this boat with traditional two engine and shaft line, this engine room would have been much bigger and therefore the space we have been able to dedicate to the lower deck particularly the owner and guest would have been much more affected and much less. So IPS propulsion was a, a, a decision that we uh, you know, took very easy. Uh, there is an infinite amount of reason why this is the future. Starting from actually from comfort. So as I said, these enable us to provide much more space to the lower deck. So if you think about the accommodation, we start at the bow with the crew quarters that go all the way to the master head, uh, that amount of space you wouldn't be able to have it with a traditional proportion. Comfort again is vibration and noise. So this amount of power in a traditional proportion system generates by default, no matter how well you do it, it's just the nature of the beast if you wish, generates by default an amount of vibration and noise which is substantially higher than the IPS proportion. And then of course, you get into the more renowned benefits of IPS, which is fuel consumption. You are in a way between 25 and 30% less fuel at the same performances. And uh, last but surely not least is maneuverability. The maneuverability of IPS, of course, is, uh, is, is significantly better than traditional shaft and rudders and props. What I always say is that maneuvering you can learn it's just a matter of practice. People have been maneuvering boats without IPS for decades, and so you can practice, you can learn. Uh, fuel, you can pay for it. Uh, if it's not a problem, the difference in, in the money that you uh, pay and you can afford it, not necessarily is a problem. Nobody can tell me that enjoys vibration, noise, and tighter spaces in the lower decks. So that is something that is 360 degrees, anybody you ask will tell you that they will love to have less vibration, less noise, more space. This is what IPS uh, does. Uh, going through the engine room again, we have uh, 224 kW, so 48 kW of power uh, generated by Kohler on this 78. Of course, uh, Seakeeper uh, stabilizer right under, so you see how neat this installation is. So fuel tanks, um, Going this way, uh, another incredibly important piece of equipment is that, which is uh, your air conditioning unit. So, Dometic, chill water loop, very easily accessible, very easily serviceable. Uh, you see you have uh, all your compressors here, your chill water pump is right here, and uh, uh, you know, this is again a chill water system, so all your gas for air conditioning, of course, this is air conditioning system, all your gas is here. The only thing you have going through the boat is a, is a loop. It's what we call a loop of very cold water, which goes through the coils of each of the fan coils that we've seen inside the boat. And that is what condition your air. That's what makes the air cold. But the gas, the exchange is all made here, uh, which, is, uh, which is pretty unique. You don't, if you can, you don't want to have gas going uh, through the boat. Uh, up in that corner, behind the Glendening Cable Masters. Of course, you have two Glendening Cable Masters on the 78. You have uh, your freshwater pumps, 
once you go there and is again I don't want to give you the impression that it's difficult to reach because it's not it's just a technical space but the height and the freedom of movement you know from of course I'm talking now about a technical space but to be able to you know access your fresh water pumps in this very easy way to work on them is actually pretty convenient I've been uh, owning and dealing and working on both all my life and this actually is a good access for pumps that again sooner or later need uh, maintenance and work and uh, so these are your fresh water pumps AC and DC redundant uh, pumps galvanic isolators uh, long story short these extend the life of your zincs you heard the story of you know your boat protecting the boats in the marina which have no zincs it is actually true so without these two pieces of equipment, if the boat next to you doesn't have enough zincs and you do, you are protecting them and vice versa. With this system, you are your own world. You're completely isolated. That's why they're called galvanic isolator. They extend the life of your zincs, protect your boat from galvanic corrosion. Very important pieces of equipment, standard on Azimut Yacht. Above your head, you have the box of the gangway. So that is the gangway. Again, Azimut 78 provides a gangway in case of a stern uh, mooring. These are your Volvo Penta transmissions. Of course, I will try to don, uh, point out things which are obvious. Nice is the access to your strainer. Each of the strainers of each engine is very easily accessible. So you just need your wrench here and then you can clean your sea chest. You see the handle here, you take it out, clean it and put it back and under those hatches right here you have all your uh, strainers for your air conditioning that is the sea water pump of the air conditioning right there again very easy access and uh, the seacock of the air conditioning and one of the generator is under that hatch the other generator is under the other hatch that red handle right there that is the communication valve the communication line between one fuel tank here and the other and that's the electrical solenoid which open and close the valve electrically as well uh, of course you have your water separator filters on uh, each uh, engine and generator in addition to the filters which comes with the uh, the engines um, this is actually the a new system which we have just introduced and uh, is uh, a system which prevent uh, and extend uh, the life of your air conditioning system because through an electrical process prevent the growth of uh, uh, vegetation through the salt water line so this is a line which comes from that pump that we saw before so salt water come through here this is an element which in a way uh, clean that water and uh, avoid the need of a scale descaling of your compressor so this will extend the lifespan of your maintenance needed on your air conditioning system very interesting system we have introduced it first on this 78 and then we are extending it to the range as an available option american product made in the usa so we are uh, actually very proud to feature it on this this is actually the first unit where we are introducing that uh, new system and new technology going uh, back this way of course you have your uh, battery charger system there master volt i always uh, mention that is the best available on the market and uh, so is what uh, charges the batteries of this uh, azimo 78 and uh, while we are here i will again as usual open one of these uh, electrical panels just uh, without even worrying it and give you an idea of the quality of execution naming and labeling of each component each relay each uh, resistor and each wires has uh, is reference of course it's obvious but you know uh, italians uh, back in the days it is true they had a reputation where electrical system were not the forte and now that is a, 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 an old legend uh, nowadays this is the way uh, we at least Azimo Benetti group uh, make our electrical panels so we provide paper and digital electrical drawings and every single line is uh, name 
and reported on the electrical drawing. So as long as you have the proper know-how, servicing an electrical system on an Azimo Benetti is uh, as easy as on any other uh, competitor. So let me close this product and I think uh, we went through everything here in the engine room. I mean the quality of execution, is, everything is very easily accessible, everything is labeled, everything is exposed. So for service uh, purposes, the access is there, is easy, you don't have to spend extra money to gain access to systems uh, when you need to. And, uh, the emergency ladder access to the engine room from the cockpit and uh, if you might wonder what this is this is the wrench that you need to open your sea strainer the engine sea strainer this is a very important wrench so it's located here and of course you're gonna have an extra one but we provide this one to open all the strainers so air conditioning generator engines they all have the same uh, wrench size and is located there to open and close them. So once again, Federico Ferrante here from the Azimo Benetti Group. I hope you enjoyed this long but hopefully educational and thorough walking tour of these Azimo Yachts 78 Flybridge. As usual, if you have any question, you want to know more, do not hesitate to contact your local Azimo Yachts dealer, which will be at your entire disposal. Thank you and uh, see you soon. Stay tuned.